Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dreamlight Valley Decor. Make sure to like and subscribe as usual. So what we are building today is the sushi restaurant and I'm doing it outdoors. And so I hope you guys like it. And so at first I wanted to do the wood and then I thought, let's use a custom rug and make it like that little pebbly looking kind of um, ground, which I think would work perfectly for the vibe that I was going for. So I went ahead and I did that and I did that with multiple rugs as you'll see here. And um, I just kept playing with the way that it looked because I wanted to make sure that the it fits in a specific way and you'll see like I'll continue to play with the rugs. And so I couldn't figure out what kind of path I wanted to do so I played with the paths I kind of wanted um, something to kind of look like the border kind of outline of the rug uh, how, I don't know how to explain it but yeah that's what my thought process was so I was trying to see how it would look what would be the best option and so I played with that a little and then I wanted to make a like walking path in between. That's what I was going for. And so then I started to put the rugs all around the walking path because that's where the little sushi like tables and everything would be. And I love the wood planks. So I decided to use that. I think that against the asphalt, it looks so good together so I thought that that looked great together and I love that it has like the little rocks on the side kind of like outlining but I did want um, to continue to kind of outline it and so the reason why I have them turned around here by the way is because I was trying to see if I can make it into like a little wall but they take up so much space so I said never mind we'll just put them against the wall because I didn't want to have to buy some more and then on top of that they like I said they take up so much space so so as you'll see here I'm playing with the setup now my dilemma here was that once I get to it is that I wanted to have a path like border around the rugs um, and see how that looked and I did like how it came out so in order for me to do that I ended up having to move some of the rugs so you'll see that I end up moving the rugs over a little bit I end up getting rid of I think one of the rugs to free up some space so that I can put like a little border and I actually end up using the sinister brick um, from with the borders from uh, geared towards for the for the forgotten lands <laughs> So I think this set is super cute. I absolutely fell in love with it. I had to have it as soon as I seen it. So see, um, and so I love the little table. I love the restaurant. I love the octopus. Like it's just so cute. The entire set is adorable. So as you can see here, see, so I outlined it with the path. So I actually love my restaurant more at night with the lighting than I do during the day. So this build, I actually prefer at night. I posted videos on my social media, I mean pictures on my social media of it during the day, but I actually like how it looks at night. And so I like how the black looks like it's bordering the the rug, right? I like the way that that looked. Um, and so I thought the black pathing was perfect for what I was going for. And also for the, it goes good with the vibe of like the sushi uh, restaurant. So it came out pretty good i was um i wanted to keep building out so i just kept adding a little bit more and i had to spread it out a little bit further than expected and i actually put it in this spot because i wanted the wall um i the 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 wall behind the octopus and on the side i, I that's exact actually why i wanted to build it there i actually wanted to build at one point a dj dance floor outside party area and i still may do that but just not right now <laughs> but i kind of wanted to do that there and but i think i might do that on the other side which would be really cool uh, because there's also a section on the other opposite side of the dlc that would be a really cool location for a little outdoor 
party vibe too. And so I use the lanterns. I absolutely love the lanterns for this. It's been like the, I mean, that's probably one of the many reasons why I love the way it looks outside. So I love how the lanterns look and I had to continue to keep like spreading out the flooring the best way because I, I didn't have um, one I didn't have enough so I had to go recraft some more which takes up so much time but then also um, I just had to keep like playing with it and getting it further so that out so that it looks a specific way that I was going for so I also have from the 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 trees I believe that's from one of the star paths I can't remember which star path it was from and then I thought these were perfect as like a fencing kind of thing to fence it all in it looked beautiful the wood um, I wanted to put a rug here but we, I don't have a big enough rug I didn't think that that looked good I don't know it looked weird to me so I ended up just getting rid of that but I really hope you guys enjoy this build I have been I have finally found a way to do speed builds even faster and where I can post them on my Instagram so let me know if you guys prefer me to continue posting builds here on YouTube like this um, you know so you guys can kind of see my thought process during this right you can see what I'm thinking how I try stuff and then I don't use it and sometimes I change things and it helps sometimes I think that it would help to see what people's thought processes are as they're building and so and how do they like try different things so if you like that then definitely let me know uh, because I would love to know if you want me to continue doing these YouTube videos or if you would prefer a faster pace and you're like hey like I don't need all the talking I don't need the voiceover I just want to know how you build this and where what goes where then I can continue to post the speed builds on Instagram um, I can't do both because I just don't have the time but you guys just let me know whatever you prefer so let me know in the comments I would love to know the more interaction and the more feedback I get, the better I can provide for you guys. Um, I enjoy these speed builds like this and um, sharing with you my thought process as I go, but I thought it was super cool to do the speed builds too, um, like super fast within like a minute and a half. <laughs> as well for those that are like impatient who are who are like me sometimes and they're like you know what i just want to just really quick get it done over with <laughs> but um and then the little lantern divider looking things those are actually from one of the star paths i believe no it was from a premium shop i believe i think i can't remember but i know it was red panda um from red panda the movie i believe that's the name of the movie and then I loved how the drinks looked back there next to the octopus to make like a kind of like a bar. So that's what I was going for. Like, I, I wish I had more space to make like a whole DJ area with it too. That would have been super cool, but still limited by this little corner space more than I thought it would be. Um, but um, I thought I thought the fountain looked perfect there. So good. So good. But I also wanted to make a little bar station. So I was like torn. Do I make another bar station? Do I... Um, leave the fountain but I ended up making a little bar and I thought it went so perfectly there I thought it was I was so happy that it actually fit and it was able to fit in between the octopuses so um, I mean like little bar station so people can go up and get their drinks if only we can interact a little bit more with some of the stuff but <laughs> we can use our imagination right <laughs> and then um, see as you can see I was trying to figure out here how to include the fountain without it being in the way because if i would have put it right there in between the lanterns it would just take up it would i wouldn't be able to go around it it would it would be in the way but it looked so good there and there's nowhere else that i saw that it would look good um so i just had to let it go eventually but I, as you can see i kept trying to move things around see if it'll fit how it'll look will i be able to walk between it will i not and once I decided I can't walk between it, I decided to just let it go. So now I'm just decorating around it to make it look nice and pretty. And 
I love the bushes. I couldn't. I I kind of wanted a fence, but we don't have a fence that I would be. I would think would go with the vibe with it. So I just let that go as well. Besides the the trellis. So I just continued to spread the path out because um so that it can like you have like a little walking path to the restaurant. I thought that would look really cool and really cute and it actually made the design stand out even more like having the asphalt that color um makes it just the the dark and the lights and then the different colors helps make the restaurant stand out even more and look even nicer so i just decided to go ahead and do that and as you can see i start had to start shifting some things to make it line up the grid system is absolutely terrible as most of you guys already know <sighs> i hope that they fix it like i hope one day it's like the sims where we can just kind of like put things the way that we want so this is what the build looks like um like i said i really hope you guys enjoyed if you want more of these let me know if you prefer speed builds that are super fast on my ig let me know too and i hope you guys enjoyed the build if you want to see pictures go ahead and head over to my instagram please make sure to like and subscribe guys i appreciate it um i'm sorry this video was not um like my normal ones um i kind of sped through this but i had to get it out there because I got kids but i appreciate you guys i love you guys and thank you so much for watching like and subscribe bye guys